Hiya! Welcome back to a new video. Don't know why I'm stood on my bed in such a weird position, but oh my god. Wanted to show you today's cute little working from home outfit. I'm gonna stand back here. Oh my god, never filmed a video from this angle before, but I'm loving it. I have got... Oh yeah, she's still got it, baby. I've got these leggings on from... God, my positions are getting weirder and weirder, but they're from a brand called Love Leggings. I just love them so, so much. They're so good for just chilling around the house. So good for working from home. La, 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 la. I've got this amazingly comfortable hoodie on. I love it, I love it, I, I, I love it. You know, I actually love a brightly coloured hoodie. My favourite colour is definitely baby pink. However, it is closely followed by this like duck egg blue colour. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful. I am back with my makeup collection. I've got, oh, oh, see ya. I've got one basket here of skincare and then I've got another big wicker basket. Hang on, struggling, struggling, full of stuff as well. So we've got two big baskets of stuff to go through. I've got skincare and a bit of body care as well. It's kind of going to be a bit of both, so hope you don't mind. You get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. Rise it up in this club. Da, 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 da. That's definitely not the words, is it? Rising up in this club. <laughs> Rising up in this club. Thank God I'm not a lyric writer. I was vlogging the other day and I was choosing a face mask and I shared with you guys my face mask collection which I've still got here so I'm just going to tip all of the face masks out of this basket because you guys will have already seen them and if you've not already seen them go and watch the other day's vlog. I think it's my face mask collection. Go watch it if you haven't already. It was very chilled. It was a nice chilled vlog. But I thought instead of vlogging my whole day today, I would vlog something specific. So that's what I want to start doing now. I want to start doing actual things instead of just vlogging my days. I want to actually talk about specific things each day, whether it be skincare, beauty, get ready with me's, Q&As, all kinds of different things. I want to spice things up a little bit because I feel like I've just been picking up the camera in the morning and being like, hi, morning, and not actually having a girl. Sometimes I'm not even sure what to call the video because I'm like, what did I even talk? about in the video so yeah that's what the plan of action is gonna be so you can still expect daily content from me that's exciting but it's gonna be a little bit more focused on different bits and bobs which is all good so welcome to a new video it is currently saturday when you're watching this which is amazing not that it makes a difference what day it is of the week because we're all just sat at home anyway but um yeah happy saturday Hope you're all having a swell day. I thought it would be fun to go through all of these skincare products that I've got in here. And am I gonna be able to hold this up as well? Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, oh. I literally have just picked up both of them for the thumbnail. Oh my gosh. I've actually just like cut all of my arm. Look at my arm there from where I've scraped it. Can you see that? It's all scratched. Things you do for videos, guys. Honestly, you would not even think of all the stuff that I've done for videos. A little sweat and tears. Yeah, welcome to everybody who is new. We've got a lot of new subscribers. Oh my god, my arm actually hurts. Like, it's actually red. Ow. Um, but yeah, welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome to all my OGs as well. We are about to go through all the skincare and body care that I own. And I'm going to stop introducing this video now because I've been talking for seven minutes and nine seconds. Completely irrelevant stuff. So yeah, I don't actually know how to film this video. It's very kind of last minute that I decided to do this, to be honest. I wasn't sure what I was going to vlog all day. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to start now. I'm going to actually vlog. So I'm going to start with this basket because if I'm 100% honest, I don't really know what's going on in here so it'd be great for me to actually sort it out and declutter so as i said earlier your gal just gonna get all the face masks in my hand has got all these face masks these are all sheet masks to um get through to be honest and the rest of the stuff in here is very random so i'm literally just gonna go through share with you guys what's in here grab a cup of tea grab a cup of coffee a few snacks it's gonna be saturday when you're watching this hopefully if you're watching it on the day I upload if you're not watching it on the day I upload why i mean there is literally no excuses for anything now that's one thing i found like if somebody wants to talk to me i can't even say i'm out i'm just like oh well i'm definitely in the house because i can't go out so you actually have to face people and talk to them when they actually ring which is 
it's a new little world for me i'm not used to it so yeah grab a few snacks whatever you're enjoying at the minute i'm enjoying rice cakes however i literally ate my last pack yesterday and i don't have any plans to go to the shops because rice cakes are not essential i mean they kind of are essential to me but they're not really essential are they let's be fair okay this is the first thing and i actually showed this in the vlog the other day that's a face mask so i'm gonna put that over there with a the face mask the stuff in here is quite unorganized so i'm just gonna pick some stuff out what are these oh these are elemis soothing apricot toner and nourishing omega rich cleansing oil they look so cool i've used this before and i remember really liking it but oils always scare me and i don't know what it is about them but they always do i've got quite a lot of little testers and stuff in here oh my god these these deserve proper recognition these are sephora micellar waters i'm just gonna get it to focus so this is the micellar water it's just triple action cleansing water and then this is the gentle extra gentle by phase makeup remover for eyes and lips honestly when i say this stuff is insane i'm 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 just gonna throw it across the room now yeah this stuff is sick like i love it because when you shake it it goes to the proper color that it's meant to be it's meant to look like milk it's the best oil based micellar water type thing that i've ever used it takes your makeup off like that it's so good and it feels so so nice on your skin as well i've got sensitive skin which if you're new here you probably won't know that but i've got super sensitive skin i've tried to go for a really natural makeup look today i've just got glossier products on which i'm a little bit obsessed with now and um yeah i mean i've literally got makeup on that looks like i haven't got any makeup on which i'm kind of liking i'm kind of liking the whole no makeup vibe at the minute or barely there that's what they call it isn't it barely there makeup anyway back to these you're obviously can't get sephora stuff in the uk you have to go away to get it and i got them in did i get them in barcelona i actually only had hand luggage when i went to barcelona that was all i could get because these are 30 mil i think and i wanted to get the really really big version but i couldn't put it in my hand luggage because they wouldn't let me take it in the airport so yes i need a trip to sephora at some point this year not that we can even go abroad right now but i'd love to go to sephora and just go crazy on the skincare because i think i regret not buying more of that kind of thing because i bought a lot of face masks last year when i went but not enough of them not enough of them so this is the nip and fab exfoliate night pads i've used these before and they're all right but i'm not really an exfoliating kind of gal so i actually don't know if, if i'll ever use those i know that they're worth quite a lot i think i got them gifted at some point i think i'm gonna put them on the windowsill maybe donate them to a friend or family anything that i want to either get rid of or donate i'm gonna put over there so yeah i'll tell you guys what i'm doing along the way i got loads of number seven stuff for my 21st birthday from my brother and his fiance and it was an amazing set they got me at Actually, they proper spoiled me and they've given me this as like an extra thing and yeah and it was the number seven revitalizing micellar water never used number seven micellar water but I am intrigued and it's probably quite good because number seven products I find to be quite good anyway I know a lot of people love the foundation my mum being one of them I've definitely tried the foundation before but I've never actually bought myself a tub to use and actually used it because I have always just opted for other ones but I'm excited to try the micellar water from number seven if you've tried this let me know in the comments because I'm very intrigued to see what it's like oh my gosh who remembers this this is the Nivea daily essentials one minute urban detox mask in moisture this is what it looks like it's basically a little cooling mask that you put on your face and my hair's going crazy i actually got this for 75p from boots they were actually retailing it at 75p i think that was when they were kind of testing it and seeing how well it would do on the market because now i think this is like seven quid or something but when i got it it was 75p and i remember recommending it on a favorites video some of you guys went out and got it and i was just like oh my god i can't believe i found like a nivea face mask that's really good and it's under a pound and obviously it was just a test so so it's not under a pound now but i really liked this this is probably out of date though how long does it say it lasts oh my god it doesn't actually say anywhere on it how long you can keep it for that's so weird does anybody know how long this would last because i have not got a clue normally it's got the little icon on it hasn't it but on the back there it's not got it on so i don't know if that'll still be in date or whether i can use it i'll keep it and just wait for you guys to let me know normally someone on the comments knows what they're talking about and can tell me oh my god can you hear that our next door neighbors have got four small children i think it's four anyway it might be three but they're really loud and when they get let loose in the garden it's honestly unbelievable they're so loud and i'm just like 
they've got two dogs as well that house must be absolutely mental because i mean i found it mental when i've got like one of my nieces or nephews here let alone four and two dogs it's a no from me. I actually think the next thing, which I'm about to show you now, is my favourite skincare product of all time. Not joking, no word of a lie. This is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. It turns to oil when you put it on your face. I've been raving about this product for literally ages. I still love it just as much as I did when I first got it. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to shut the window because I can actually hear them kids. They're so loud. Why? What is with the volume? Just turn it down a bit. The thing is as well, the mum never says like turn it down. She just like lets them run right in the garden. And I mean fair enough because it is their own garden but really really loud like to the point where we live in a detached house and we can hear them through the walls and they live like quite a distance away as well it's not like right next to us i'm gonna be such a moody neighbor when i'm older i'm gonna be like excuse me can you stop making so much noise please you're not allowed parties or any social gatherings this is gonna be louder than a volume of 25 percent anyway back to the product we were talking about this is 10 pounds but i think they've actually put it up to 11 pound now but it's still pretty good because it lasts ages i think one of my tubs lasted me a year which is pretty good it's like under a pound a month it's basically just a really good cleanser that takes off all your makeup this is a brand new one i've literally not even unsealed it so i'm not gonna because i want to keep it for as long as i possibly can but but yeah i'm very excited to crack that open again literally one of the best cleansers and best skincare products ever and really good on sensitive skin as well what have we got here Nivea Daily Essentials Rich Moisturising Day Cream SPF 15. Oh my gosh, that would actually be so good round about now. It says it's for dry and sensitive skin, resilient, smooth skin. Oh my gosh, wow. This has got shea butter and antioxidant in it. I really want to open it, but then I'm also scared because what if I don't use it? I started using a Body Shop SPF face cream the other day so i don't want to open that just yet because i'm still using that but yeah oh my gosh i'm excited to use that that will be so good if you've used this before let me know in the comments again because i would be very intrigued my loves i've got two mud masky products i've got the leave me on winter mask and then the after mask vitamin serum i think from memory i got both of these in glossy boxes is it literally just a face bath if so that would be so good to start putting on oh that's actually a night serum so you can put that on like a face mask during the night i won't use that right now but is this for during the day oh this one's for daytime so this says that you can use it daily and it just protects your skin that sounds good i'm I'm gonna put that on the windowsill to use immediately after this video oh my god i've got a hair mask in here as well this is the palmer's coconut oil formula deep conditioning protein masks i'm always a little bit apprehensive about a face mask not a face mask a hair mask because i always think they make your hair feel a little bit greasy and also look a little bit greasy but i always think that's if you use the whole thing if you just use half of it i don't think it's as bad it's literally just like conditioner so i think i might use this tonight in the shower should i yeah i'm gonna put it on the windowsill to use tonight tonight oh my god guys there is so many of these pore masks i've got a few vr products this is the vr charcoal no strips no strips <laughs> no strip i've got the vr deep cleansing pore strips which i think you can use anywhere on your face and then i've got the derma v10 cleansing charcoal nose pore strips as well quite a lot of these to say that i don't actually use them that often i mainly use these when i'm with ben to be honest he really likes using these oh my god what you can literally use these ones anywhere on your body it says on the back of it that you can use them on your hands you wouldn't do that though would you you wouldn't put a paw strip on your hand if you had dry skin oh no it says dry hands so it says you've got to wash your face and then dry your hands and then put it on why on earth would you put one of them on your hand and why did i think that be all woman telling me to oh my god sometimes you know what i just don't even have words for myself i'm just oh got another palmer's hair mask here was that a hair mask yeah i've got two palmer's hair masks then these are defo from glossy boxes this is the chia seed and argan oil face mask hair mask why do i keep saying that so frustrating that one looks a lot smaller so i'm gonna swap the one that i'm gonna use tonight see that scares me that's got so much conditioner in it like honestly there's so much in there you wouldn't use that on a normal hair wash well i wouldn't anyway because i've got quite short hair maybe i would if i had my long hair my long hair if i had longer hair basically but yeah i'm not gonna use that today because 
too much it's too much and now it's coming back to me guys a lot of these products are from the glossy box advent calendar that i didn't use straight away this product just reminds me of them i think this is a really expensive brand it's called avant they do basically really really expensive skincare so this is a primer which sounds quite good it literally just says on the back that you can apply it before your foundation you know what i'm gonna leave that out as well why the hell not this is like a day cream it says to just apply it after you've done your skincare routine in the morning basically sorry guys i've got a bit of a runny nose it's a little bit annoying so yeah this is like a little day cream which is exciting i've actually got a day cream out that i'm using from aldi so i won't use that yet all these products are from the glossy box advent calendar so i'll show you a few at a time because i feel like i'm getting a little bit slow this is a balance me radiance face mask that looks good doesn't it i'm leaving that out i want to do a proper face mask tonight but i don't want to do a sheet mask i want to do a proper you know one that you put on yourself i've got a clarins normal to dry skin cream here this is just like another day cream i think i'll bob that there is that just like a moisturizer oh cleansing foam oh that looks fancy doesn't it it's literally got no directions on the back so i've got no idea what to do with that i think it's like a mousse cleanser that sounds interesting i think it would be really fun to try out these products in a video and do like a testing skincare video but the problem is a lot of these brands people have never heard of so it's like would people actually be interested in knowing what they're like and whether they're good or not i don't know and oh my gosh this is a pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask what is this i don't know what it is but i love the packaging i think this is like a pore matting serum it says you can put it on before or after your makeup and it just makes your face look matte which sounds really cool i mean i'm not a person who loves a matte finish on myself anyway i prefer a glowy finish but i still think it's nice to spice things up a little bit and go for a matte look every now and then oh i've got a few more clarins bits and bobs here i've got a one step gentle exfoliating cleanser this is a water comfort one step cleanser i think clarins is a really really nice skincare brand i just think that the stuff is really good quality and i always trust it i don't know how good it is on sensitive skin but oh my god i think this was worth a lot in the advent calendar from glossy box it's the dark spot concentrated serum i mean it looks like a medical bottle doesn't it it's got like the um what's it called um I've forgotten what it's called. It's gone. It's gone. But yeah, I think that was worth loads of money in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I've not got any major spots at the minute. I'm presuming it's for spots anyway. It doesn't actually say on it. I'd have to do a bit of research into it or find the um, little directions of use magazine that you got in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. But yeah, I've not really got any spots at the minute, so I don't feel the need to use that right now. This is the Balance Me Tinted Wonder Eye Cream. I actually love a mini. Like, how cute are they? How good is that for travelling and just putting in your bag? love that this is the nip and fab kale fix moisturizer i actually think i've used this before i think i quite liked it as well i do like nip and fab i think i've used their makeup before there's one product of theirs that i really like and i can't remember what it is but yeah i like nip and fab anyway i've got another little micellar water i think this is how cute is that i don't know where i've got this from it's vinci laboratories who knows who knows guys and then the last thing in here is the la roche posay thermal spring water sensitive skin this stuff is so good you literally just spray it on your face and it's like all refreshing i'm gonna put it on now oh my gosh that is so nice i'm gonna leave that out because i feel like on these nice bright sunny days you need a little bit of spring water on your face don't you and then here i've got a lot of little testers got a few garnier face washes a smashbox primer dr dennis gross serum fresh soy face cleanser dr jart liquid moisturizing toner what the hell is that i don't know what that is but it's estee lauder and it's very random i don't really tend to use these kind of samples that often i always find that i just put them in my collections and then i'm just like okay see ya bye and then literally never use them but yeah that is everything in my skincare collection that's in that wicker basket obviously we've got the abandoned face masks there and then this is everything that we've literally just talked about there is a lot of stuff to use here if you've used anything from there and you would recommend let me know because i can start using it in this little self hibernation period where we're all just sat at home i think it's the best time to start using new skincare products especially because if something doesn't work for you and it maybe it reacts to your skin badly it doesn't really matter as much because nobody's gonna see you with horrific skin so i'm gonna quickly tidy this away just so then i've not got skincare all over my double bed and then we will move on to the body care stuff here my mum's actually cooking dinner right now and i don't know when it's gonna be ready but i've got a sneaky little feeling the neighbors oh my god Shh. Shh. 
But yeah, I've got a sneaky little feeling that I'm gonna go for a little dinner break, have a little bit of tea, and then come back upstairs and show you guys this body care. There is a bit of skincare in there as well, but it's mainly like body stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, see what the crack with dinner is, and report back to you soon. Not gonna lie, I've just had the nicest dinner my mum made salmon with rice and veg and to be honest, to say we're in the middle of a pandemic was a pretty fucking good dinner. But welcome back, it's a little bit later on. I've got to say guys, I'm loving the light nights at the minute. Lighter evenings are my kind of jam. I'm such a summer person, honestly, like bright mornings, bright evenings, that is the best. So yeah, welcome back to part two of this video. This is what we are currently dealing with. Little wicker basket, love that. What on earth is this at the top? Natural konjac sponge. Absolutely no idea what that is for. Oh, it's for exfoliating the skin, obviously, obviously. You know what, that'd be really good to get your fake tan off with. I am so bad at scrubbing my fake tan off. I just leave it and leave it and leave it for as long as physically possible until I look like a snake and then I get to the point where I have to actually exfoliate it off. So maybe I should use that. Maybe I should take my own advice and actually exfoliate straight away once I want the tan off, but. Oh my gosh, this little bag here at the front, this is the most exciting bit I've got to say. If you are a dove lover like me, you will actually be obsessed with this because honestly, it's so good. I've just got loads of dove stuff in here. This is a nourishing body care moisturizer, love it. I've got a deodorant as well, original scent, that is the best. And then I've got not one, not two, but three dove body washes. What's the reason? Can I get a, what's the reason? There is no reason. I just love them and I'm obsessed. And I literally got bought a lot for Christmas and then my birthday as well last year, which was August. But yeah, three body washes. Absolutely unnecessary, but love it anyway. I've got an original scent one. This one is sheer butter and warm vanilla. That is so nice. In fact, I'm not gonna open it because then it'll be open, won't it? And this one is Silk Glow. I think that might just be the original scent, I'm not sure, but that is a little dreamy Dove bag and it's even got a little Dove logo on it. And this was from like a gift set at Christmas time. Love Dove, love Dove so much. I've got a few very random sleep masks in. I literally only ever use these when I'm going on a long haul flight. And I mean, I'm not going on a long haul flight for the foreseeable future because of the current situation. So, I mean, I'll keep them, but will I really need them? I don't know. I also got quite a lot of Sanctuary Spa products. For Christmas, I also got a lot of Sanctuary Spa stuff. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff from the set when I've got it all out. So I literally love Sanctuary Spa as well. As I'm sure you'll be able to see in this little collection, I love like spa smelling stuff. Like anything that smells like it's just come out of a spa, I'm like, oh my God, here for it. So I've got a luxury bath float. Wow, I just love the packaging as well. Everything about Sanctuary Spa is just so beaut. There's a body wash here as well, which I don't know if you can see very well, but inside there is loads of little dots. I don't really know what they are to be honest, like little bits, which sounds exciting, I'm here for it. Such a nice body wash. These honestly smell so good as well. It's actually a bit of a manly smell, I think. I don't know if I'll be alone on that, but I think Sanctuary Spa actually smells a little bit manly. In a nice way, though, in like a really subtle, calm, spa-like way. I've got a huge wet skin moisture miracle. This is actually meant to be really good. It's basically like a moisturizer that you put on in the shower on wet skin. So as you're showering, doing your business, do, 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 put a little bit of moisturizer on as well and then massage it in and it's meant to be really nice. And then you obviously just rinse it off, get out the shower, dry yourself, blah, blah, blah. And it's just meant to make your skin feel really nice. So I reckon that'll be really nice after exfoliating with the random little sponge that I found at the beginning. I've got a little body scrub as well here and then this is a body lotion. Love Sanctuary Spa. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Boots body care scent is. I think mine would be a toss up between Dove and Sanctuary Spa, but I also like Soap and Glory as well. And speaking of Soap and Glory, your gal has got quite a lot of Soap and Glory in here. I've got quite a few minis. I've got a clean on me, clean on me, even when you feel it and sad. Lovely smell, lovely smell. I've got hand food. Great little hand cream, probably be really nice roundabout now because I don't know about you, but my hands are going so dry because I'm washing them all the time. So I need to get on that hand cream high. I've got a little body butter, perfect. And a little scrub off your life. Everybody and every girl. 
Ah, scrub up your life with soap and glory. Oh God, that was such a high pitched note, wasn't it? I don't think you or me was expecting that to come out of my mouth, but it did. Oh my gosh, this stuff is the nicest smelling stuff ever. It's very, very sweet. I appreciate I've literally just said like, Dove's the nicest stuff ever. San Bar is the nicest stuff ever. But if you like a sweet smell, you want to get on this original sauce hype because, oh my God. Oh, I've got it up my nose. I've got it up my nose, love. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone. We're good. We're good. This is in the scent Sweet Rhubarb and Raspberry. They do such a good array of smells, honestly. They've got a foam banana one, I think, and it smells insane. Yeah, original sauce. Super cheap as well. Super affordable. I think they are a pound ago. Super excited to start that because I love a sweet smell. What have we got here then? Are these some body creams? Oh, we've got a Balance Me Revitalizing Hand and Body Wash. It's ever going to focus. There we go cute love that packaging hand and body wash and this is a rituals magic touch body cream honestly rituals is such an underrated brand for body care i'm currently using one minute i'll just get you it currently using this which is the rituals the ritual of aruveda soothing hand balm honestly i'm gonna put some on now it is the nicest hand stuff i've ever used i think it's because it's a balm and normally i use a hand cream but it just makes your hands feel so soft my hands are flawless and i know that's not normally a thing that you'd say but wow honestly they feel so so good so yeah i would highly recommend that i got it from a glossy box and i'm just hoping that this body cream from rituals is as nice because i mean that is literally like the best stuff ever as you can see i'm pretty far through it i've not got that much left so love a rituals product not gonna lie oh my gosh have you ever used foam burst right it is the best stuff ever it's basically like a shower gel that you squirt onto your body and then when it hits the surface it turns into a foam it's amazing for shaving with honestly you rub it in and it turns into a bit of a shaving foam situation and it's just so so good it's not the cheapest body wash ever i always opt for something like this which is a bit cheaper but if the foam burst is on offer, I will get it. This is the Imperial Leather version. It's called Foam Burst Ultimate Moisture, and this is in Golden Amber and Coconut Oil. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. You will not be disappointed. If you get a foam burst at any point in your life, try it, because I guarantee you will love it. So, so good. Just fabulous. I've not tried that one yet, but I'm sure it will be amazing. So excited to try that. So excited. We've got ourselves a few body butters here, my loves. A few body butters. This is a cow shed wild cow invigorating body lotion. I'm just going to smell that because, oh my gosh, it smells just like ginger. If you guys didn't already know, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. How cute. Love cow shed. Ginger is literally one of my favourite tastes ever anything ginger flavored i love a ginger flavored smoothie smoothies with ginger in are just insane i love a ginger biscuit i love a ginger cake i love a ginger sen like gingerbread it's just the best it's very wintry i appreciate it's a little bit christmasy but i still love it anyway and this stuff smells the exact same it says it's with essential oils of lemongrass ginger and rosemary so beautiful honestly cow shed products are so good when i went to singapore last year me and ben stayed in a hotel it was a yotel and it was very like modern and they had all the mod cons like when we walked in obviously you normally check into a hotel via a human being we had to do our whole checking in process on a little machine there was literally no humans wandering around it was literally just like robots and machines it was so weird but it was so cool as well and in the room of that hotel was just cow shed products so there was shampoo conditioner body wash and then a body lotion and honestly i swear to god i got about three showers a day just because of the products because i loved them so so much it wasn't that scent it was a slightly different one but cow shed oh my god again very underrated brand i personally think they're a little bit pricey don't get me wrong it's a bit of a treat you know a little bit of a pretty penny that you're gonna spend however it's worth it because cow shed products beautiful if cow shed want to send me any products I'm always available. <laughs> Lol, I'm always available. Okay, the other body butters I've got here are a Sanctuary Spa Sleep Comforting Night Butter. This is meant to like rock you off to sleep. I don't know how it actually works or if it does work. I mean, I've used a little bit of it, but I don't know if it's a bit of a psychological thing that it says sleep on it. This is a Body Shop Satsuma Body Butter. Let's give this a smell. 
I'm not gonna lie, I don't love it. I don't love the Satsuma smell. The thing is with Body Shop, the scents that they have for their body butters are all quite strong smells. And the thing is, I normally love like a strawberry scent or a cheeky little mango scent. It's all like so cute and summery, but I'm actually not a massive fan of the fruity smells. I actually prefer, well, my favorite scent from Body Shop is the almond one. I can't remember if it's almond and shea butter, something like that, and it's honestly so beautiful. I literally went through a whole body butter of that, and I honestly loved it so, so much, but yeah, like Satsuma, I'm not loving it. Let me know in the comments what your favourite Body Shop scent is. I'm going to put that on the windowsill because I don't love it. I'm not a fan. This is a Sanctuary Spa Sleep Soothing Silk Polish. What is a polish, ladies and gents? I'm just looking at it close. Oh, I think it's gonna be a bit like an exfoliator. It says it's for reducing tension and relieving stress. The thing is, with products that are meant to kind of de-stress you is, I'm always a little bit skeptical about them because it's like, is it actually gonna do that? Or is it gonna do that because you've told me it's gonna, and then subconsciously somewhere in my head, I'm thinking that this is working. Like, I don't know, I'm a little bit skeptical about it. But saying that, I actually love pillow spray. Like, I used to be proper obsessed with it, and it used to get me off to sleep like that because I thought that it was sending me to sleep. Whether it was or not, I don't know, but I don't know. I feel like you get more and more skeptical as you get older, so I don't know. Maybe I should just be a little bit more relaxed about it and just, you know, go with the flow, but I don't know. Talking of fruity smells from the body shop, this is the mango hand cream. I got this in the Glossy Box advent calendar. Sorry, I feel like I'm mentioning that all the time and it's so annoying, but I'm actually annoying myself, so sorry about that. But yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I'm just gonna smell it. Oh, it's got a seal on it. You see, I might end up giving this to a family or friend because it's still got the seal on it. And I think someone else will appreciate the mango smell a little bit more than me. It can't be as bad as that Satsuma smell though, to be fair. I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh, we've got a few more Soap and Glory products here guys these are little shower gels they're like little pods and they are perfect these are perfect for oh see ya when you're staying away somewhere for one night which i often used to do when i did long distance with ben we'd sometimes go stay somewhere just for one night and these were really really good i used to take little pods of shower gel and stuff they're good if you're going on a little weekend break as well obviously you might need a few because you don't get that much shower gel in there but yeah they're just very light and obviously disposable you can just leave them there so you're not having to carry a big bottle of shower gel or whatever so yeah little soap and glory sugar crush fresh and foamy body wash not much left now guys not gonna lie we've only got a few little bits got a little bath oil from mitchell and peach look how cute this packaging is i mean i know it's a mini so it kind of makes it even cuter but oh i love that um yeah this is a little bath oil Oof, that smells a bit like alcohol. Oh God, it's taking me back to that night when I got really drunk in January. And that was not pleasant at all. Oh my God, these, you guys. Does anybody else always take the body wash, shampoo and conditioner from a hotel? Is it just me? Probably just me. But when we and Ben went to stay in a spa hotel on New Year's Eve, we took the body lotion, shampoo and conditioner. So these are by a brand called Tranquility. But yeah, Tranquility. And they're actually really, really cute. They smell so good. They're they're all, they've all got seals on, so I can't smell it now, but I remember in the actual hotel I did try some and it was so, so nice. So yeah, these are actually a really, really good size for traveling. 40 mil, how good's that for a little week away? A little bit of body lotion, love that. Oh my God, I hope I'm not the only one who takes hotel products. I can't be the only one though. If you do do that, let me know, maybe in a private message, because I know people don't want to share that kind of info, but... Last of all, we've got a Baby Dove Head to Toe Wash Rich Moisture. How cute is that little bottle? I've got so many minis because everybody used to buy me minis because they knew that I used to go away for a short amount of time when I used to do long distance. So everybody used to buy me minis and I get gifted quite a few minis as well. So yeah, a lot of the stuff in there was literally mini, but hey ho, oh my God, how cute is that? Literally, I've just lined all my products up. I'm gonna try put them neatly back in the box, but that is the part that I actually hate about videos, putting everything away again. If you you make youtube videos or you've ever done it in the past you will appreciate the effort that goes into tidying everything away after the video has been filmed because it is a little bit of effort guys i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm not complaining about it i'm just saying you know i'm just saying so guys that brings us to the end of today's video that is literally sorry i've got like a little bit of wicker stuck on the bottom of my foot from this blooming basket but yeah that is literally all the body care and skincare that i currently own and that i am gonna try use obviously by doing this video it's encouraged me to use my products. I feel like filming this video has kind of made me realise what I actually have and the fact that I've actually got so many products to try and so much more to do in self-isolation. I mean, this is going to really help because I can literally just take a shower or a bath like 
every single hour and try a new product but yeah I do want to say as well before I finish this video that I do feel really really grateful and lucky that I have all this stuff I know it's not all necessary and it's all very luxurious and I just want to say that I'm grateful for it and that I'm not taking it for granted um I feel like I'm oh 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 Sorry, you just got foot in your face there, but literally just nearly fell off the back of my bed. Love that. But yeah, I feel like I'm literally not taking anything for granted right now. Anything and everything, I'm just appreciating and not taking for granted. So yes, anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite chilled, quite, you know, just relaxed going through everything that I've got. And yeah, I'm going to have a nice little evening now. I'm going to try out, what am I actually going to try out? I'm going to try a little hair mask, which I'm excited for because I do need to wash this fringe. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks so greasy i'm gonna put a hair mask on i'm gonna try this primer tomorrow i'll leave that out a uh, radiance face mask I'm gonna try that tonight as well and this is a leave me on winter mask i wish that i'd have discovered this when it was actually winter and i appreciate now we're moving into more summer months but i still really want to try this so yeah it's the mud masky one by the way just in case you couldn't see but yeah thanks so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed it i've actually got a little list going of video ideas for the next couple of weeks but yeah i feel like i'll be able to film and upload a lot more often now because obviously I'm at home all the time and I've got the time to do that and plus I'm not with Ben I'm literally just sat here on my own filming and editing videos but yeah anyway thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did be sure to smash a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already join the fam and I will see you tomorrow at 7pm for a new video bye guys